So when we're dealing with the money, that's that's the big issue right there. All right, we want to make them feel as, as comfortable as possible when it when it comes to when it comes to the money. Okay, and when it comes to the money, they're used to paying. Okay, right then. Hey, 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 plumbing pros. Hey, welcome to the 431st episode of Potty Talk. I'm your host, Richard Bainey, the million dollar pro coming at you here and our new studios. Hey, check it out. What do you think? All right. You like this? Feels kind of cozy. It's starting to feel like home again. All right. We're in the new studios. All right. I'm kind of, I'm kind of digging this. All right. What do you think? Hey, let me know in the comments. All right. Hey, welcome. Hey, welcome to Potty Talk here. Hey, I'm, I'm looking forward to talking with you on this subject here. In fact, the title of our episode here is Cash Flow Magic, Why Collecting Today is Tomorrow's Success and uh, Collecting. I also got to give you a little warning here that in, in this episode, um, you know, just want to look out here, okay, because I'm going to bring it here. I'm going to talk straight here, especially what we're talking about here on this subject of collecting, because one of the biggest mistakes, one of the biggest mistakes we make in our home service business is invoicing here. And I'm going to promise you here, if you stick it out with me here, even if um, this is you and it kind of maybe some of it hurts a little bit. Okay. I promise you, if you stick it out with me here in this episode, uh, you're going to learn why it's uh, best to invoice or collect right then from your customer, why that's, that's best for your customer and for your business. Let's get to this invoicing thing. All right. Are you, are you invoicing your customers? All right. Please, please tell me no. Okay. Please tell me no that you're not invoicing your customers. Look, invoicing your customers at best is the stupidest thing that you can do. Okay. At worst. Okay. It's what, it's the reason why you're just, uh, that you're broke. Okay. I'm just going to say it. All right. And you're broke if you're just living week to week, paycheck to paycheck. Okay. You know, the feeling, okay. It's, we're going to get real here. Okay. Uh, we're talking about things here to, to help uh, build your business. Okay. And sadly, a lot of times when we start out, we will get in this trap of, of invoicing our customers. Okay. And it literally is a business killer. Okay. It's killing you. All right. Also, it's, it's not uh, making, you know, it's not playing well with your, your customers either, okay? We're going to talk about that, all right? But why we need to not invoice but collect, okay? So let's get into it here, all right? What are, what are the reasons of um, why it's, it's best to collect right, right then? Well, first of all, number one, okay? Number one, reason number one, it's what's normal, okay? It's normal for your customers, okay? <laughs> Where, where, can, where can you go? Where, where do your customers go? Where, where can you go? Think about it. Where, where can you go anywhere? And they say, hey, I'll send you a bill. You know, we'll, we'll let you know what it costs here. And uh, I'll send you a bill in 30, 45 days. Where, where, where do you go to do that? Where do your customers go? Nowhere. All right. You got to pay right then. You know right then and you, and you pay right then. It's, it's, just, it's just the world we live in. Okay. And here's the thing. A buying customer is a comfortable customer. Okay. All right. A comfortable customer is a buying customer, which leads to an uncomfortable customer is not a buying customer. So the things that we do, all right, is what makes, makes uh, our customers feel uncomfortable, which drives away the sale. All right. Now you probably, if you've been listening for potty talk any length of time or you're in the academy, all right, you, you know, you've heard me say this. And of course I come from on the trade side, I come from the plumbing side. So I've always, I've always said for years, you know, no one wakes up in the morning and wants to, wants to call a plumber. All right. Well, that includes your HVAC guys, your electrical guys, your handyman's, okay. Roofers. Okay. Whatever, whatever it is you do, no one wakes up in the morning and wants to call us. Okay. We're not delivering pizzas or flowers or something fun. Okay. All right. No one wants to call us. So they're already uncomfortable. Our customers are already uncomfortable. All right. So we want to put them in a comfortable, you know, position and work, work on that emotion. And one of the things, and there's, there's multiple things that we do, but one of the things has to do with, with how, you know, how they pay. Okay. Again, no one wakes up in the morning, wants to call a plumber, which also leads to no one wants to spend money with a plumber. Okay. Or HVAC or electrical or whatever. Okay. No one wants to spend money with us. I know we love what we do. All right. And, and we're there for them. And we are great. And we're the best and all that kind of stuff, but no one, they don't care. Okay. They don't want to spend the money on it. All right. So when we're dealing with the money, that's, that's the big issue right there. All right. We want to make them feel as, as comfortable as possible 
when it when it comes to when it comes to the money, okay? And when it comes to the money, they're used to paying, okay? Right then, it's awkward and it's uncomfortable to be in a situation where um, it's like, okay, now do I pay you now, or oh, oh, oh you're gonna you're gonna send me a bill, okay? But which, by the way, that bill gets to him what 30, 45 days later. Okay, most of the time, okay, that, that's a big problem there. We wind up, I'll get into <laughs> why that's a problem, but we, we wind up collecting late, okay, sending the invoice late. At this time now, it, the issue or whatever it, is not a big deal, okay? It's not a big deal to them. So when they get that, you know, $923 plumbing bill or whatever, $923 for the, I, I remember, man, they had gone for that. I remember he, he was just here you know, a little over an hour, and it was just this. In fact, let me, let me get on, let me get on, oh man, at Amazon, oh, that part, my part, it's only, in fact, Amazon pays you to get that part, okay? Whatever that is, you know, that's, that's the thinking, okay? That's what happens when we send an invoice, all right? No matter what we do, all right? It's, it's, a, it's a pain there, all right? And, it, and it's also just, it's not, it's not part of the norm. It's not the normal situation, all right? So we want to make our customers feel comfortable And and a major way of making our customers feel comfortable is allowing them to pay right then and have us totally out of their hair, okay? So, it's what's normal. That's number one, all right? Number two, all right? Second reason here, all right? You're not the bank, okay? Look at me here. I'm going to pull you in. If you're you're watching, okay, if you're watching the podcast on the video, all right? If you're you're listening to the podcast, just listen more closely, okay? But if you're you're watching here, come, come in here, all right? And hear me on this. You're not the bank, Stop acting like a bank, okay? <laughs> All right? Well, that's what you're doing when you're, when you're invoicing your customers. And this is especially uh, for those of us who work, you know, with, with new construction or if you're doing, you got a commercial contract and that kind of thing and you're waiting, you know, 30, 45 days. You, really what, how they're treating you is like a bank, okay? So especially like a new construction, they get... They get you to buy all the parts and all the labor and do all the work and all that, okay? And then, and they kind of get a loan from you. They get basically you're, you're loaning them money. And but here's the thing: you're not set up like a bank, all right? You don't have the pockets like a bank. You don't think like a bank, all right? You're not charging like a bank, all right? You're not you're not doing the bank like things, and you're not a bank, all right? You're a service provider, all right? You're great at your trade, but uh, your, your business is providing the service, not not a banking service. Okay. And so, you know, you're providing a credit and you're not set up to provide credit. All right. And here's, here's also the thing with, with, uh, with the money. Okay. And the service that you're providing, the time is the value. Okay. Your, your time is the value. So, you know, back to the, the, the example where, you know, I'm talking about, you know, the bill and what $923, you know, invoice that they receive, you know, over a month, month later. Okay. At the time, that day of getting that, that leak repaired or, or hot water or getting, you know, cool air again or, or you know, getting that, uh, you know, the, the fuse panel taken care of or whatever right there so they have electricity right now today, it was worth $923, okay? The time had more value at that, at that time, okay, right then, all right? 30, 45 days later, when it comes time to pay that, that time doesn't have the same value. So that, that's the issue that, that you're causing, again, when you're sending the invoice, okay? Your, your time value just goes down, all right? And you're not the bank, okay? Certainly, certainly not the bank, all right? Hey, these, these are things that, uh, you, know, we, we all, you know, we all did it at the beginning, okay? Um, I can remember getting, you know, getting started, you know, dealing with the money, um, even just, just that aspect of it, it was easier to do the work. And then, you know, we get, we get back home, you know, we're working out of the house, right? In the house garage and, and we're starting out and it's just easier. We think at night and then I'll do the invoicing or I'll do, you know, I'll do the bills invoicing or whatever on Saturday or whatever. But it's just, we just, you know, we fought farther and farther behind on doing that, um, and it's just, uh, has, you know, we may not know how to figure out how, how can we, you know, collect right then. Well, how do I do that? Nor do, you know, also I'm a little, I don't want to bother the customer. I'm getting used to asking for the money up front and that kind of a thing. All these kinds of things. Look, I get it. We've all, we've all been there. All right. But it's, a, it's an area that we got to transition through pretty quickly. All right. And start collecting now. Okay. 
It's what makes the customer feel comfortable, all right? And you're not the bank, which is messing you up, all right? Hey, and I'll get to my, my final point here in just a moment. But before that here, hey, if you stuck with me here so far, I got something for you. Check it out. Finding and hiring the right tech for your team can be challenging. Applicant Pro makes it so simple and easy. Your personal Applicant Pro hiring professional will do the brunt of the work for you. Writing job ads that will get you maximum applicant exposure. Manage the advertising of your jobs to over 20 major and local job boards. Even a pre-hire risk assessment is included to ensure your candidate matches the role expectations and your company values. To learn more about Applicant Pro and to take advantage of special discounts just for Potty Talk listeners, go to milliondollarpro.com forward slash Applicant Pro. All right, welcome back. Hey, we're talking about uh, not doing the stupid thing of invoicing your customers. Okay, I'm just going to say it. You know, I can, I, I can hear my kids when I say the word stupid. You know, I say harder words. But, uh, you know, I hear my kids, Daddy, stupid, stu stupid's not nice. All right, in this case, hey, I, I know it may not sound nice, but I don't want you making these mistakes because this kind of mistake, invoicing your customers, okay, instead of collecting when, when the job is finished, right then, all right, getting the money right then, getting the money in the bank right then, all right, but by invoicing, you're literally killing your home service business, okay, and that's what really what uh, is a major reason why a lot of you are struggling, okay, and it's a simple thing you can do right now. You can start right after your next job right after this, all right, just collect, ask them for the credit card right then, okay, right then. People are used to it. They're used to that. All right, get the money in the bank right then. All right, it again, it makes the customer feel comfortable. It's the normal thing to do. All right, gets you acting. You, you're not set up like a bank. All right, you don't have the pockets. Okay, and, and you're not charging in a manner to give people credit. And that's what you're doing is giving people credit. All right, you're not set up like a bank. And then finally, all right, by collecting right then, all right, collecting for your jobs right then, it literally, all right, finances your future. Okay, that's how you finance your future. That's, that's, how, that's how you're able to grow. Go from being the one-truck Chuck, all right, and, and growing into a multi-truck, all right, multi-million dollar, all right, home service operation, all right? It's, it will help finance that. You don't need, I know, you know, it would be nice if we all won the lotto, right, lottery, okay? But you don't need to win the lottery, okay? You don't need to have a rich uncle die, and then leave you a million bucks, okay? This, by just collecting as you go, all right, literally can finance your growth, okay? And also in saying that, that's part of knowing what, what you need to charge as well. Because as a reminder, a customer pays for everything, all right? Your customer pays for everything, okay? Not just, not just the time on that job, okay? And the materials on the job, but also the whole time it takes to run your business, Okay? Um, the whole time it takes to run your business and all the expenses associated with your business. That customer pays for all of that as well. Okay, so you got to have that set up um, properly. But if you do have that set up properly, all right, you're charging your customer uh, what, what your business needs to charge and you're collecting it right then, all right, and getting the money in the bank right then, man, that's how you can exponentially grow, all right? It literally becomes like steroids. Just you're, you're able to finance yourself in that manner. It's, it's an amazing thing, okay? But you got to get that money today. Get that money in today. I've often said it was a, a lesson I learned. Uh, I learned the hard way. It took me about four or five years to learn, learn this lesson. And it's that I much rather have $500 today than the promise of $5,000 next week, okay? That $500 today, even if you take the expenses out of that and what it took to make that $500, that $500 is more powerful, okay, more powerful to your business than the, the $5,000 next week, even though it's, you know, more dollars or whatever, all right? But having that cash right now to be able to do the things, all right, um, that, that can move you forward to take advantage of opportunities, all right, to be able to um, put that you know, down payment on a truck or get that other truck in, okay, right now, have that cash to go to get that truck, okay? And then be able to get that truck in Mrs. Jones's driveway, all right? And moves you foot forward, all right? That's how powerful it is to get paid today. It's a simple thing to do, okay? But many don't, all right? Get paid today, all right? There you go, all right? Get, get that money in the bank today. Stop waiting. Stop spending, you know, sending invoices, all right, and having to chase down the money, that alone, okay, 
is going a long way to uh, keeping you in you know, your business struggling and you struggling with your business. All right. Collect today. Again, your customers are used to it. All right. Credit card. All right. Check. All right. Cash. Chickens. Whatever they got. All right. Collect today. All right. You're not a bank. Get out of that. Okay. You don't, you're not a bank. And that, that working like a bank is killing you. All right. And then finally, it finances your future. All right. Collect a day. It'll, all right. It'll move you forward. You got to do it. Okay. Hey, and if you're looking just like that, if you're, if you are looking to learn more about, you know, what it takes, what, what, what are the processes to have in place like, like this to be able to uh, swipe cards? Okay. What do I need to do that? Just, just, just that process right there. All right. Two, I kind of, touched on it, the idea of knowing what to charge, being able to charge what we call your honest hourly rate, okay, how, how to figure that up, as well as the, the, the marketing, what kind of marketing and branding, and, you know, how do I attract and hire the best guys, okay, to get the help, okay, and, and how do I grow, and what are the numbers I need to look at, and even down to the, what I consider boring stuff, accounting, all that, if you're, if you're looking and, and want to know more about that and this, okay, I got something for you. It's our MDP Success Academy, all right, where we teach the business of home services, okay? All right, you're already a great pro at what you do. You're a great craftsman, um, but the odds are um, that you're not a good businessman yet, okay, you, because you weren't taught those things. It's not your fault, okay? You just weren't taught those things. You were taught how to be a great craftsman, but you weren't taught the business side, all right? And that's what we do in the Success Academy. And I have a 14-day free trial for you, all right? So to learn more and to grab your free trial, go to milliondollarpro.com forward slash success, all right? And grab your free trial, all right? Get on it. Well, there we go, all right? All right, stop invoicing. Collect the day. Get the money in the bank today, okay? All right, hey, before I let you go, as always, I want to remind you that you were purposely and wonderfully created you were created to do great things. So get out there and be dangerous. <laughs>